high water from the drain curbing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That probably in four years we'll have a good run of salmon again. It pushed all these eggs and all these fish that we bought there had time. It pushed them down the river because we had high water. You know, some of those salmon were just getting out there. Mm -hmm. Where we even actually had to pull the weir out because of some of the fact that it was too much water and there were even there was below the weir we have problems. Yeah, I, I noticed that. They, you have to get out there and get the fish in the dead sea from the other side, right? right. So the pressure. Right. Yeah. And that's why they're putting it up earlier and earlier every year for the fact that so the fish don't go up there and die up there because they're caught between here and there. Right. And, yeah. and there's not much spawning beds up there compared to here. Because the, those fish will come back down and spawn if possible. But a couple of years ago, there was 100,000 fish between here and there. And they couldn't go anywhere. And that's they had to go out there like almost every day and pull them off the stream until they would die. Yeah. Oh, this poor guy just died. He's been doing that. Yeah. Oh, there's some big, there's some big fish this year here. Okay. Okay. They'll throw them in just the holding pond, whatever holding pond they're using for that day. And, and then so they've got they've got large fish in the holding ponds too. Yeah. Well, um, if they're not ready to spawn, if yeah. the females, so they'll hold more of the male or the females because then that's for the eggs. Yeah. But the males, they'll there's so many males they won't even hold them. They'll just pop them on the head and put them in the feeder. 